Um, welcome tonight to the at last Atlas meeting of this year. Um, I, we would like to host elections um, tonight. Uh, we have a panel. I'm not sure if it's up, if we can put it up on who is. Um, sorry. Yeah, I'll be launching the, the poll um, as soon as you're ready to. We'll launch the poll and everybody can vote and then we'll close it out once those do we have done. a do we have a screen that has the listing of who? Yes, the list is in the chat in the agenda item. Okay, great. If everybody can take a look at that in there. Sorry, I'm still having trouble with my zoom is like slow. It keeps freezing up on me. Um sorry. It's okay. There's... I don't see it in the chat. Okay, I'll re I'll that's, repaste it. Yeah, there. that's why I'm saying like I'm having some trouble. So sorry about that. Okay. And to Rebecca, there. there we go. Now I see it. And Rebecca was okay. asking, oh, just Zoom. Thanks, Laura. Okay. Well, good evening, everybody. Sorry about that. I think a couple of us were having some technical issues, but we're here now. Um, so tonight we'd like to do our elections. We'll be electing a president, vice president, co-vice presidents, that is, um, secretary and recording secretary. We still have a few vacant positions we're looking to fill. If anybody would like to um, be a part of a great board working with a great team and doing great things for Dominion High School, we would love to have you um, join us. Um, I'm going to be leaving, but the team that's staying behind that we're hopefully going to elect in tonight will be staying. And Ted is fantastic to work with. So, and so is Matthew and Adriana and Jackie and Christy. So they would love to have people join them. Um, so I guess we can put the poll up for that. Okay. And start with that. And um, you just, you, there's probably nobody voting against or um, going against anybody. So you just vote as it is, unfortunately. So. If everybody could just select something on their poll, that would be great. Good. Thank you. I see people voting now. Yeah, I can see it now too. Getting a little nervous. <laughs> I only see seven people. Seven is that now. what it is? Yeah, we have about 23 participants. We do need a quorum of at least 15 voters. So if you're here, we're welcoming you to vote, please. I know it's not allowing me to vote. It says the polls no. ended. Yeah, I think, Ms. Coma, I, I've, I think I might be a co-host and I might have ended the poll. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know much. Good. About I'm sorry, everybody. I can relaunch okay. it. I'm right going to relaunch Yeah, yeah you're we'll going to relaunch it. Go ahead. There we go. Try voting again. Sorry about that. I thought I had to hit end poll to for my votes to record. That's <laughs> I need to scroll down. I probably didn't even vote. Oh. Not Mr. Technology. <laughs> Lauren, it's not letting me vote at all. Hmm. For whatever reason, I have nothing to click or anything. You we may, get to... yeah, you may have needed to update your Zoom with 10. With it 10 did update my Zoom. Time. I don't know. If we get to 15, I'm not going to worry about it, but yeah, we're 11, so I think we'll make it hopefully. I don't know how I could have updated anything for this, but. Mm -mm. If not, I can just email you my votes too. Mm -hmm. If anybody else if is anybody having else trouble, is having... Yeah. let us know. I'll put the email in the chat if anybody is not able to vote on the poll and let's just email their vote. If you're just joining us, we're voting um, for the officers next year for Atlas, so for the board. So please the list of, vote. Yeah, and the list of officers is in the in the um, chat.
put 13, just give it a minute or two. One more vote and we've got it. Got it. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Great, thank you so much. Um, if anybody is interested in joining the board and has any questions um, for the board, you can email Atlas at Dominion High, um, Ted, uh, myself, I'm sure M Matt Romans or anybody on the board currently and that will be staying on next year would be more than happy to um, meet with you and talk about anything. Teresa Domingos, our treasurer, would be happy to talk with anybody too. So just reach out and let us know. Um, I don't think there's much else. I think this leads into um, graduation information and uh, other topics for Dr. Brewer. So I think Mr. Hodzel had indicated he'd love to talk about the next generation of golf tournament committee, but I don't know if he was able to make it tonight. I think it's safe to say we always need uh, to, you know, recruit and, and get at least small contributions from lots of different people to make that event a success. It certainly was a fantastic day to be a Titan on Monday. So, but I do think Mr. Hodzel would like to have somebody come alongside and be the chairperson, I think in the future might be the reason why he had requested that. That was in the question. I'd like to discuss managing next year's Demand Golf Classic in our questions bank. Mm -hmm. So speaking of questions bank. And there, real quick, Dr. Brewer, I think, Francis has one more year, so whoever might be interested in um, running the committee next year could probably maybe team with Mr. Hodsel, and that would be great. And so they wouldn't have to take it on themselves. So that's all. Yeah, I think that's true. And I'm trying to put into the chat here a. Oh, I see. That was intended to be a board discussion. Okay. Sorry about that, Mrs. Skoma. Trying to, Zoom did have some updates, and I've been a little challenged with it, too. Mrs. Coma, if you don't mind putting a question link so that people can submit questions if they have them, it's a little easier for me. Our discussion about two topics tonight, graduation and then traffic flow and safety, which I want to talk about uh, pretty briefly, but just give you an update about that. If you don't mind putting the question link in there, Mrs. Coma. There we go. If you fill out that form, that'll populate into a little spreadsheet that we have set up. It'll just be a little easier for me to track your questions than if you put them in the chat right now. So we're gonna go ahead and display a presentation if you don't mind, Mrs. Cohen, I'm managing that too. Sorry, I'm putting everything on your plate here technically. Just a brief slideshow that we'll take you through regarding uh, the graduation plans. So next slide is a list of our topics tonight. And those topics are, oh, first of all, just thanks to everybody who contributed to the Dominion Golf Classic. We'll be looking to replenish our committee next year and probably find the sort of chair elect of the committee. So just want to mention some upcoming senior events tonight. And uh, those are listed there, prom, senior awards day, which is the last day of school for seniors senior walk and our trip to King's Dominion. I want to make sure you know the process for making senior payments. We want to talk about graduation and rehearsal very briefly. There's only one more rehearsal and it is pretty important that your Titan be there. Talk about graduation itself and then change dramatically to one last topic that we won't dwell on a lot, just an update about traffic efficiency and safety. So let's dive into our first topic, which is Upcoming senior events. And on the next slide, we should have some information about prom. So it's Saturday night. 
don't know the current count of uh, tickets sold, but it is over 300, and we really want to have at least 400 people attending to cover our costs. Last year, we probably had about 500 attending, so we're down a little bit. We may have a rash of sales on Thursday and Friday. That does tend to happen. We hope that our juniors and seniors are coming to the Dulles Hilton at, from 8 p.m. to midnight on Saturday night. Pretty for, uh, pretty a very different venue, but a very similar format. And uh, I think last last uh, one of the things we have at this venue that we had at the last one was a patio that we can use uh, during the first half of the of, of the event to play yard games and things of that nature. Tickets are sixty dollars, and for our students, for whom sixty dollars would be a cost prohibitive, there is a form uh, that's pretty easily accessible on our website that they can fill out to get a free ticket. So we hope to see lots of people at prom. In fact, that form is also in Schoology, as you see on the screen right now. If you go to your Schoology account, or your student does, in the Dominion High School section of that and click on that, one thing that's really not intuitive about Schoology is that you always have to click on resources over there, four or five lines below the Titan symbol, and that takes you to the resources. And in particular, you would want information from that particular uh, uh, place. This is, information is also available on our website. So on the next slide, we're moving on talking about senior survey. This helps us in a variety of ways, just collecting information from our seniors directly about their plans for the future, about scholarship offers. And so there is an assignment for your Titan in Schoology that they won't have any difficulty finding. You just need them to take a few moments to fill it out. And the next slide is another slide that talks about this. It's a QR code that you could scan right now if you want. Pass that along to your, uh, that link along to your Titan to get that done. So click here um, to share scholarships or use a QR code is obviously the only thing you can do right now. But just want to know, of course, so we can celebrate. On the next event, which is coming up on Tuesday, May 30th, that event is our senior award ceremony, and that is the last day Loudoun County Public Schools expect seniors to attend school. So if you go to the next slide, Mrs. Comai, if you don't mind, I'm thinking that slide is going to be about ah, something else, senior payments. Let's take a detour and talk about senior payments, then we'll come back to the award ceremony. Today, you and your Titan received an email that just gave you an update on where you are, where your Titan is and paying for senior expenses. So the total amount of senior expenses is $200. I realize that's a lot of money. Um, let me tell you what you're getting for that investment. We broke this up into three payments. The first payment and the second payment, pretty much everybody was participating in. So we ask that those uh, payments be paid by everybody. The third payment, the King's Dominion field trip, Obviously, only students going on the field trip should pay the $80 for the trip to King's Dominion. The first payment of $60 is wholly dedicated to caps, gowns, roses, which students will be giving out at graduation, programs, sashes, pins, things of that nature. The second payment is covering some things associated with a couple of senior events the lunch for recent Color Wars Day, T-shirt our seniors received during Spirit Week, and then lunch again coming up on Tuesday, May 30th. Again, the third payment, the King's Dominion payment, is optional. Students do not need to pay that unless they are going to King's Dominion. We'll put more information about that on the screen here in a future slide. It's uh, definitely easier for us if you pay through the payment portal, but LCPS payment portal is a monster. We've The email we sent you today and your Titan today gives you direct links to make any of those three payments. One thing I didn't put on there was uh, a link directly to pay the 200. I'm sorry about that. Uh, all in one shot. You can also pay cash. Sorry about the typo there. That's a bad looking cash. They pay cash to Ms. Bischoff, one of our senior class sponsors, her classroom is L309. Uh, please don't send your Titan with a check at this point in the game. Um, and then, of course, these 
uh, fees are very expensive. So families who uh, have financial need can fill out a waiver form. And those forms are pretty, pretty uh, available in the main office, in the school counseling office, online, in Schoology. So that's a deal about senior payments. Uh, let's go to the next slide, if you don't mind, Ms. Coleman. I'll go through this whole presentation. I'm not going to take very much longer and then certainly entertain any questions that you have. Senior Awards Day is on Tuesday, May 30th. And we do ask our seniors, it's the last day of school for them. And on Tuesday, May 30th, uh, we're asking our graduates to dress nicely, not in their cap and gown, but to dress at least business casual. Parents, you're invited to come to the awards ceremony. The vast, vast majority of our graduates will be honored for something that day. We'll be giving away, safe to say probably, close to a thousand different accolades to our 364 graduates. These presentations are gonna begin in our auditorium. We're gonna gather there at 9.30. The program will probably more officially start about 9.40 once we've had a chance to get everybody settled in there in the auditorium. This will be just seniors and their parents and community members will be coming to make presentations of scholarships that our students have won from lots of different sources. Then we're gonna bring our freshmen, sophomores, and juniors into the main gym at 11.15 and have our seniors uh, honored with um, some distinctions that we want the entire student body and staff to be able to observe. After that, for our seniors, we'll be serving lunch. And then graduation rehearsal is probably a strong word. We will be asking your graduate to meet with the person on our staff who's going to be reading their name at graduation. And that's crucial so that they read it the way your family would, and more, most importantly, your graduate would want it to be read. So we'll have a, a nice lunch for them that day. And then a very brief time in the auditorium where we'll do two things. We'll get their name, them coached up about, uh, our staff coached up about how to pronounce their name, how they'd like it pronounced at the ceremony. And then we'll dis distribute sashes. Some of our graduates received sashes with their caps and gowns. Most did not. I'd say one third got them, two thirds still need to receive them. We'll hand those out to those who still need them on May 30th. Talk about the sash toward the end of our presentation. Next thing that comes up after that, it's not a day of school. It's not required, but on, two, on Thursday, June 1st, we would encourage, strongly encourage your Titan to go to their elementary school in, in cap and gown at 115 and just walk the halls and inspire the young Mustangs, the little leopards, the comets and the wildcats as they someday will be wearing those caps and gowns. And it's pretty inspiring. Elementary teachers and administrators give us a lot of positive feedback about how good it is to see uh, their school's alumni and also how inspiring it is for the younger generation of, of Titan graduates. Now, we have a lot of graduates in the class of 2023 and in every graduating class who didn't attend any one of those four elementary schools, but they're welcome to join a friend and join the parade. I think most of the schools, they get a picture after walking the students, our graduates around the whole school and, uh, you know, just inspiring younger kids to get excited about doing their best in school and becoming a high school graduate. Again, that's optional, but we hope our students will choose to participate. It's not a day of school for seniors. It is a day of school for 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. I think after that, the next slide should be about King's Dominion. And that's on Wednesday, June 7th from 8 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. It is $80. Costs a little bit more than that, but uh, we got it covered. Uh, we must provide the transportation. And students may not transport themselves for their safety for obvious reasons. It's 100 miles away. It's going to be a hot day. We're going to have a great time. But driving home two hours, hour, hour and a half probably, from about 8.30 to 1030 after a long day in the park is just dangerous. So we, every student who's going with us needs to ride our buses. The $80 is going to cover a ticket to the park, a voucher so they can drink, get a drink at any one of the, uh, at one of any one of the amusement parks, restaurants every 15 minutes, a soft drink or a water. 
and they can eat all day as well. They'll be able to get a full meal from any one of the parks restaurants every hour and a half so that we can properly prepare for mission forms are due on Monday, May 15th. All right, next slide, I think, is probably graduation rehearsal. And I just want you to know on the very next day, after a long day out, we're not going to get anybody up too early. On Thursday, June 8th, we are going to have students come in shifts to participate in final graduation rehearsal. We started doing this during COVID and realized it's a more humane way to do business. 364 people trying to organize all of them to do things just the way we need to do them during graduation ceremony. It's pretty painful for everyone. So we're bringing in about 90 at a time here. Students in letters A through D, it is crucial that students whose last names begin with A, B, C, and D come at 10 a.m. Coming during another shift is useless. We've already practiced all the things they can practice. The one thing we need to do is put them in their seat, the seat they're gonna sit in next to the people they're gonna sit next to and uh, line them up. So really, really important for them to be there. On that day, that's the day we're gonna hand five graduation tickets to your Titan to take home. And we do it that way for two reasons. One, so that we don't misplace them um, and have panic for you on graduation morning. A little bit uh, less time to lose them from June 8th to June 12th. And secondly, we need to collect all of the things that your Titan has in their possession that we need. Things like lacrosse uniforms, things like library books, Chromebooks, and uh, that's pretty much a pretty good list right there. So we need, again, students whose last names begin with K-L-M-N-O-N-P. They need to be there at one o'clock. We just need an hour and a half of their time, but it's gotta be that hour and a half in order for us to be successful. And then let's talk about the main event. Speaking of five tickets, why do you need five tickets for graduation? Graduation is in the main gymnasium. I know we took a vote of Titan families. Your student was empowered to cast the vote. It was very close. 53% voted for it to be in the main gymnasium. I've been it, as you can imagine, every one of our 18 previous graduation ceremonies. And we've had one or two in the main gym where it would have been nice if air conditioning were working more effectively. But there have been very few where we've been outside and the air conditioning was working ineffectively. So uh, outside is was necessary the past two years, and we have done it a few times in the past. But we're going to be glad we're inside. It's uh, just a much better climate. You can hear better. You can see better. And the turf, frankly, last year at 9 a.m. was 104 degrees at 9 a.m. And we were all out there for an hour and 45 minutes. And we had several medical emergencies. Fortunately, none that became uh, life-threatening. But there were several that were serious, people who were transported and spent some time in emergency rooms. We just can't keep doing that. So um, it's best for us to be inside. So you need, therefore, five tickets. We're going to get to that in just a moment. For Your graduate needs five tickets that they'll give to the five people who are going to come into the main gymnasium to watch the ceremony. You can invite as many other people to come to the ceremony and watch it via live stream. See your graduate in the flesh during the ceremony in the auditorium. So please do feel free to invite many more than five people to come. There will be plenty of space and it's way more comfortable in the auditorium, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's talk a little bit about arrival that morning. In the main gymnasium, we uh, have open seating. There is not reserved seating except for individuals who would have ambulatory limitations. We will send the Google form soon so that we can accommodate those special needs. We will reserve seats uh, for any individuals in your party who needs have special needs from an ambulatory standpoint. Uh, we'll have extra accessible parking all across the front of the top of the, let's see, I guess the bottom of the parking lot closest to the school. So when you come in, just show your, uh, you know, explain your need and we'll get you up front and make it easier for anybody who has ambulatory limitations to get into the school and into the gym. I would ask that you carpool to the extent possible. 
because we have 900 parking spaces. We're expecting, you know, probably in the vicinity of 2,500 guests, you know, 364 graduates, so almost 3,000 people. We need to have at least three to four people in every car that comes so that we uh, don't have to start parking across the street or uh, in, in a Seneca Ridge bus loop. We can park there. It's just a terribly long walk around to the main gym from there. So I'm asking that you not arrive earlier than 8 a.m. and you not arrive into the parking lot later than 8.45. Somewhere in between would be good. This is first come, first serve on seating. And so I recognize you, some of you will want to be there early. There will be plenty of space for everybody. We'll be packed in there pretty tight. But the bleachers aren't terribly comfortable. So you don't want, it's a two hour ceremony. If you're sitting there a whole hour before that, three hours in those bleachers can be kind of uncomfortable. So I would just encourage you, we're not going to open the doors until eight. And uh, you don't have to be there at eight to, to get a good seat. I think pretty much all the seats are pretty good inside. Uh, I have a few other remarks on the next slide. This pertains to, again, the five tickets. The tickets will be required for seating in the gymnasium. I'm sometimes asked if children, small children, need a ticket. I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. Uh, there are lots of times in your life that you might want your two-year-old to be there. This just isn't one of them. Um, I, I discourage you strongly from bringing small children that small. It just doesn't work out very well. They can't be noisy and disrupt the event. If they get noisy, you're going to have to leave with them and step outside. I, I, if you must bring small children, it'd be better if they sat with a trusted adult in the auditorium for sure. Um, I do want to point out that on that day, if there are any seniors who haven't given us their library books, we're going to hold their tickets temporarily. We're going to give you the tickets, but we do have to have some mechanism for getting our library books back and the Chromebook back. So we just, we need you to be thinking about that now and working with us. We've already been talking with your seniors about getting library books turned back in. If you see that they've got, you know, an old basketball uniform lying around, now's a great time to have them pack it in their backpack and bring it to school tomorrow and give it to Ms. Clendenin in the main office. Again, there's unlimited overflow seating in the auditorium with a beautiful 21st century live stream. It'll be very good, very big. Fantastic view, terrifically comfortable. And the graduation, the graduate processional goes through the auditorium in the flesh on the way to the gym. So those who are seated in the auditorium will, in the flesh, see their favorite graduate walk through the auditorium on the way to their ceremony. Graduates may decorate their cap. We really, this needs to be done in good taste. Um, we haven't had anything go wrong with that but it's easy to see how things could go wrong with uh, thoughtlessness when it comes to putting something on a cap. So our expectations are that the cap talks about gratitude or highlights the future plans of the student. And just be aware the ceremony is two hours long. You know, it's gonna start at nine. It's gonna start, our processional will start pretty promptly and we'll walk out of there pretty promptly at nine o'clock and we'll walk out of there at nine, 11 a.m. All right. I think that's all I have to say about graduation, but let's see what's on the next slide. Ah, no, there was one more thing. In the questions, we've got questions about, and I'm sorry, uh, if you can go back one slide, Mrs. Komai. In the questions, there were uh, uh, questions about how uh, sashes work. So I just want to point out two different types of uh, regalia that goes over the top of the sash. And my deepest apologies for Ashley Abbasamus, our first ever uh, valedictorian in 2005, she's got a pretty nice display of pins there on her sash. I know it's a little bit blurry, and I know she's crying tears of joy for the end of her high school journey. Uh, she might also be crying because she's outside and it's miserable, but that was one of the graduations that was actually pretty pleasant outside. But we had natural grass then, which doesn't get na uh, nasty hot like the turf does. See how she has pins attached to the sash. The idea there is that these are pins Ashley earned during, in her case, her junior and senior year at Dominion High School. She was a junior when we opened. Some of your Titans will have more pins than Ashley had, a lot more. Some will have fewer, but 
Students will earn pins because they were great students and earned a 3.5 GPA during a particular school year. So some of them may have four academic pins. They may have pins for community service, for being in a club, for being a letter winner in a sport. And those, that sash's only purpose in the world is to hold the pins that tell the legacy of Ashley Abbas Amos and every Titan graduate who has come after her. And so that's the purpose of the sash. George Blair, class of 2013, on your right, he is displaying another thing that many of our graduates will be wearing, which is a National Honor Society stole. That goes over the top of the sash, and you don't pin anything to that. Uh, that just sits over the top of the, of the stole. I want to just make a I'm sorry, the stole sits over the top of the sash. I want to make one more observation about the sash. It's helpful if your Titan pins at least one pin on each side of their sash, pins all the way through their gown so that the sash doesn't slip, slide, and fall off as they walk around uh, the school in the processional and up on stage to get their diploma. So hopefully that helps everybody understand the pins. Your students already have some of the pins. They'll get more pins at the senior award ceremony on May 30th, and they'll still get more pins, many of them, at final graduation rehearsal. And that's our tradition for how we tell the story of each student's contributions to quality of life in Titan territory. Last two slides, major topic change. I just want to uh, you know, show you the overview of our parking lot and point out that um, we, for a number of reasons, since we returned from COVID-19, traffic safety and flow are both significant concerns. If we go to the next slide, you'll see three areas where I'm asking our community, I've been asking our community not to drop off and pick up Titans for their safety. As you are probably aware, a Seneca Ridge student and a Dominion High School student were struck by a moving vehicle in the intersection between the two red X's on the right of this slide uh, throughout the course of this year. And a third student was severely injured in another bike accident just around the corner from there. Um, the problem with the, that being a drop-off area is that there's no stop sign down there by those two X's on Augusta Drive. So cars are moving through there in large numbers, driven by inexperienced, distracted 16-year-olds. And, um, and they don't have to stop because there's no stop sign on Augusta Drive. So I see every day that I'm out there things that make me worry we're going to have another serious accident. So I've been begging us not to drop off and pick up over there, but people continue to do it because of the yellow and green lines, which are very frustrating to you when you try to come in and drop, drop off in the morning, and even worse, when you try to get out in the afternoon. The reason why people drop off in the areas marked with red X's is because they're frustrated with how long it takes to get out of the parking lot once you get in it. And I understand that. And I am working my tail off to try to motivate uh, the right people to help us find a way to get our traffic flow out of the school onto Augusta Drive more efficient. If it were more efficient, I could stand a better chance of convincing people to do the safe thing, and that is to use the main exit and the main entrance. So I'm asking broad, boldly and broad. Uh, boldly and repeatedly for traffic control to be provided at the intersection of our main entrance in Augusta Drive. I have met, had uh, Mr. Gatone and I actually share concern about this, and we've met with uh, Ms. Brisman, and uh, we're meeting, we, we, we've met with uh, some members of Loudoun County's uh, Department of Transportation. We're meeting again with them on Monday afternoon, along with LCPS staff. 
our current superintendents have been out here to see of the traffic flow and the problems it creates. We have their attention. We just need them to act. And uh, right now, I can just tell you, we have their attention. We just need to, them to take some action. And we'll see what we can get to help us get outward flow out of our parking lot onto Augusta Drive more efficient and safely. That's the goal. All right. The seniors are the ones who get the groove. Sorry about that. Thought I had silenced my phone, but I had not. So a question came in when we were talking there about who gets the tickets. Yes, the senior receives the tickets on June 8th at graduation rehearsal. So that's when you'll get the five tickets and they should bring those right home. Great question. If at this point you have a question, you can use that Google link, but let me also see if you have questions here. Payments are cumbersome for senior payments. That's why we sent you the update today so that you could see what our records say. I ask our staff to provide every one of our 364 seniors with a receipt for every payment they make. You, of course, get an electronic receipt with your a payment through our portal, but I expect Ms. Bischoff to also give a paper receipt to every student who pays by cash. So please hold on to those receipts. Just bear in mind, Ms. Bischoff and Ann Beltrain, our financial technician, are managing three payments times 364 students. Doing the quick math, that's over a thousand transactions. According to Loudoun County Public Schools uh, grading scale, they could make um, they could make a hundred mistakes and get an A, and they could even make 20 mistakes and get an A plus. They're going to make some mistakes. They're human. And so we want to clear those up. If you feel you've made a payment, please, please just bring it to Ms. Bischoff's attention that you have a receipt showing that you paid either payment one, two, or three. Uh, any other questions that you have about either of these topics, I'd be happy to answer. And I certainly, this, uh, this is early. If it's okay with you, I'll invite people to step out. I, well, there are no other agenda items, as I recall. So. You know, if you, your questions have been answered, please feel free to enjoy this beautiful evening and, and ditch us. But I'd be happy to stay here with any questions that you have. Is there any other, are there any other items of business, Mrs. Early? I don't think so, unless anybody has questions for Atlas. Feel free to uh, pop some uh, questions in the chat if you'd like at this point. And if not, and you want to, you want to scoot? You feel like all your questions have been answered? That's awesome. We hope you have a fantastic evening. And uh, for those of you who have seniors, hope you have a beautiful final month of uh, a month from uh, graduation is a month from Friday. So time is here and it's come. Ah, streaming of graduation. Thanks, Mr. Joyner. The streaming of graduation will occur from our website. And uh, whether you're sitting in the auditorium with us or watching it anywhere else on the planet, you'll see the same stream. And um, I, I, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not like watching uh, you know, NBC or CBS, but it's pretty good. And it'll be streamed and you'll be able to get the link uh, from your from from our homepage, it'll be very visible where you can see it. Great question. Yep, we can send the prom location. If you are still here, Ms. Herrera, I'll put it in the chat here right now. Again, there's a big question about whether we're going to stream the award, whether you're going to stream the award ceremony on the 30th. All right, thank you. The award ceremony will not be streamed.
the address for the Dulles Hilton. Thank you, Ms. Herrera. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Again, feel free to leave us with your questions if you have any. Right, everybody, I think this is Coma. One last question, there we go. Yep, college and career celebration. We do have a, it's it's rough, but we could send that out. And so that's, had multiple requests for that. So we'll, we'll get that posted on the Atlas website and the Dominion High School website. Dr. Burr, I think it's already out there, isn't it, Lauren? If not on Atlas, it it's on something, because I, I reviewed um, it the next day. It is. It's on the face. It's on a Facebook post for Atlas. It's on a Facebook post for the class of 23, and I believe they posted it on the Dominion page, but I can also post it on the Atlas page. Good. Thank you so much. But I did. that's where I must have seen it, on the class of 2023 Facebook page. Is that the link right there, and Mrs. Cohen? Yes, should be yes. Okay. And it's also on um in Titan TV, you can you can watch it. If you go to dominionhigh.com and to the Titan TV section and scroll through, it's it's slide number five has the link. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Thank you. All right. Thanks everybody. This is Goma. I'll see you in about five minutes for the second meeting. That's okay. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Yeah. Have a great Thank evening. You. Okay, Bye -bye. Good night. Thanks. Right.